angle turned brilliantly there by an all black England off their feet as you call it's a, it's a tight one Flood did quite well but again England up to down the Alamo throws Williams gets it down and through the half backs and there's Brad Thorne again working in midfield the ex rugby league England are waiting for Thorne aren't they Carter lovely feet there from Carter Cowan not much this way might be now because Mollyain is trying to provide himself as the extra man so he hardly look at that strength to drag his fullback forward but the referee's pulling out another player here this is another sin bin Off go. for the use of the elbow against Haskell England down to 13 men. Crowd are very upset. I think the booze there, they're not for James Haskell there, for the referee Alan Rollin there. Eight penalties in 30 minutes. Key thing to tell you here, there's one minute 15 seconds left on the Simbin. You can see it. You just see him swinging there. It's Rodney Soriallo. Soriallo doesn't like it. Uh, James Haskell last week against South Africa gave an absolutely soft penalty away with a swinging arm on the Springbok 22 he's done it again on Soriallo there well if it wasn't difficult enough it's just got a whole lot more difficult for England without Haskell big presence around the field back row man off for 10 minutes of his own making. He's, but Carter keeps helping England with these missed kicks. Unbelievable. Two kicks that Dan Carter is a nine times out of tenner. Uh, you know, this is pretty good. Carter going at 50% at the moment, two for four. This is really unusual because these are kicked normally. This is four for four territory for Daniel Carter and it's 312 New Zealand. There have been signs on this tour of Dan Carter not being at his best when going for goal in the silence at Croke Park he was spooked by it Mulliain a very close there to just being a meter in front of the kicker Carter when he's not on anyway it's a case that he was offside England were put into the scrum okay. here comes Beers out of the bin they've done pretty well England with 14 men now here's Haskell you watch out for eight Soyalu and you'll see James Haskell coming in number six big right swinging arm high as you like and Soriano doesn't like it catches his man and Alan Rollin has no real option there you're on the yellow straight into the scrum it's still a seven man scrum though for England it is but seven against eight and England handled it quite well I can't really recall New Zealand having a a try scoring opportunity I can think of one half chance for England it's a game that's being played very much in midfield really as you can see possession you know right down the line 50 50 England are right in this game it's self belief and can they hold New Zealand when they turn on the power in the second half well the All Blacks have had one tryless test in the last six years them scoring yeah the try and, and they've had three second halves where no team has scored against them so the odds are still against England but England have made the start they had to make in the first half they're getting towards half time and they're in the game with 14 men they mustn't give anything away in the next five minutes it's 55 tests to be exact and they have scored a try in all of those tests what a run here we are Time off, please. And yet we still regard them as failures and chokers. One game every Time four years. It's haunted New Zealand, but in between they are a magnificent Time rugby team. Off, a huge challenge, the big challenge for everyone still. And bar the indiscipline, England are rising to it pretty well at the moment. Going for their third Grand Slam of these shores. It's another penalty. Came on. Off you go. Foot control. Off you go. 
Well, there was a reduction of power in that scrum. It wasn't coming on from the back row, although the engine room and the front row still intact. Well, surely Dan Carter cannot miss this. Now, look at this. Nine penalties conceded by England, and the key statistic is sometimes you say, OK, we'll concede them, it doesn't matter. There are times you have to. Of those nine, five have been very kickable for Carter. It's just extremely fortunate that Carter's only kicked two out of four. But that 50-50 should become 60-40. He must make this 9-3, surely. Well, I've written this one down already on my piece of paper here. You cursed him once, Harrison. And this has to be 9-3. Otherwise, the world is turning upside down. Carter. It is 9-3. Now, what can England do before half-time? Nine soft points. Nine soft points England have conceded. They have nullified New Zealand. We've hardly seen a, a sniff of Rokofoko, Sivivati and Mulyaina. There's not been a break for Carter. And yet England have given all these soft penalties away. Kevin Mialamu. Rodden Saki sorted out in the end. Saki looking for that injection of pace and power. It's slow out of the box. The penalty given away at the breakdown. If England don't stop it, just like against Australia, they'll certainly lose it. Listen to me. Yeah, Roland okay. said. You've gone past the point of no return. Any more indiscretions? If I have to put another four in the bin, I will put another four in the bin. Is that understood? Well, that is understood. Thank you. At, understood. at the end of it. Adam Roland, notorious for not taking any form of back chat, and he ends the conversation abruptly again. It's the tenth penalty. Right now, Phil Vickery suffering at the moment. Now, England keep giving penalties away at the breakdown. They get an easy ball, 30 metres from their line, and Toby Flood gives the ball to Saki to carry into a wall of black jerseys when they're perpetually giving away penalties. The risk is there. It's another soft option. It was a bad decision by England not to kick that ball I'm certain Johnson wants his fly half to play territory Saki ran into a black wall there and England gave another penalty away that script was already written soft penalty much harder kick what about Carter from here who gives it enough more than enough and it's New Zealand who get that score before half time not England's chance to come back at all and Saki all there on his own into that wall of tacklers. Three men and what do England do? They're upright, they go off their feet, it's the leech position again. Two England defenders cannot drive three New Zealand tacklers off the ball, it's always going to be a penalty, a bad decision and again bad technique. We're harping back to it but it's this inability to make the right call and win at the breakdown that's costing England. Flood. Constantly going for the high kick. Mistake from Cowan, put off by Kerr's presence. Flood to Vickery. Now, how's he feeling? Good recovery. Kerr to Flood. Flutey. Recovered from the hamstring problem that took him off the field against South Africa before half time. finding himself now at outside centre. That is not the attacking play in the need. Static at outside centre. It's a turnover, it's great ball for New Zealand.